So we've opened the box and what you can see in front of you is the EMF protection four poster bed canopy. So there we have the bits, we have the canopy, we have the mat, we have the grounding as it would be having been taken out of the box. So here's Esther opening up the EMF shielding bed mat. As you can see we're in our lounge and we don't have a bed in our lounge. You get the gist of it. Esther's unfolded the bed mat and spread it out on the floor and now we're going to put the uh, frame on it. So we're going to put the canopy on top of the mat. Okay so now we've got the canopy laid out on the floor and what you're looking at is the inside of the roof. So we've got it laid down now upside down so that we can feed in through the tunnels. So that's screwed in nice and solid now. That now screws in as well. And then we've got one width pole ready to be fed through the canopy tunnels. Same again. length poles so Esther is going to feed through the canopy frame so next we're going to connect the frame Notice that the, uh, the roof is upside down and the connectors are ready to receive the vertical poles. Here we have a close-up of the roof connector being attached to the frame poles. All ready to go. So what we're doing now is we're putting, we're going to put one piece of frame in each corner of the roof, which is still upside down before we turn it over. And it's important to get this the right way around. So you need the piece of frame that has one normal end, which is this bit. And then if you show me as to the other end, that's the tapered end, which will be the end that's vacant, ready to receive another pole. Okay, so that's the non-tapered end. There you go, that goes in. We do that four times, one in each corner. So we've turned it over now. That literally took five seconds but you do need somebody else to help you. So as you put together the vertical poles, you'll see that the three poles screw in, into each other and it should be obvious which way around they are. But you can see that this one isn't tapered, so that receives the, uh, the tapered end, which is this bit here. So the frame's up and constructed, and because we started with the roof, the roof is effectively finished. We've got to put some feet on it. But before we do that, we need to make sure we've got this solid end in the right place. So it's a four-sided canopy, obviously. Three of them have um, the ability to walk straight through, if you like. They have flaps and openings, and the fourth one doesn't. And we need to find that now, because we want to put that behind the bed, against the wall, if you will, or behind your headboard, even. And that's what we're going to do next. So Esther's got the canopy up, um, and as you can see, She's tied back this quadrant and I'm going to walk into the canopy and let's, let's leave that quadrant down because we're going to demonstrate the efficacy of it in a minute. This is the solid wall and that's the one that would go by your bedroom wall or even behind your headboard. If you look through there, we're actually looking through two layers of lock silver and you can see how visible the land is beyond our window. Now we're looking through one. And you wouldn't really know, would you? Okay, let's put the feet on it and let's earth it. There goes a canopy foot. As you can see, Esther's turned that in towards where the bed would be. And to give real rigidity, it would be a good idea to, to pop that under the bed. and makes it really solid. And there she is, putting the fourth 
foot on. So your grounding kit will construct of the wire, the connector for the actual mat or, or kind of plate. Yeah, the plate and the three pin, in this case, UK plug. So we're going to start with the grounding plate. And what we're to do with this one is simply untwist it because it's constructed of two parts. So untwist it it's very easily with your fingers. OK, and you'll see you've got the, the metal in the centre. So what you then want to do is decide which corner is going to work best for you and pick a spot on the mat accordingly that you can then put this central screw through um, to properly secure it. I'm not going to do it now, but you would literally put it underneath, pierce it, pierce the mat, and then you re-secure again, twist to, twist to secure. So the next step, once you've got it secured to the mat, I'm not doing it as I said, but this is what you would do on yours. So you pick up one end of the grounding cable and you'll see there's a loop. And you'll also see there's an aperture in the grounding plate. So now you want to secure that loop in that aperture. And you're gonna take the smallest screw that comes in one of the parcels that you'll receive, okay? and you take the smaller end to secure it. So finally, um, we connect the other end, other looped end of the grounding cable into the back of the grounding plug. So we first of all have to open up the back of it with the wider of the two screwdrivers. Okay, like so, and you'll see there are two channels, so you just choose one. You don't need to fill both channels, you just use one. Again, another aperture. And then you take the middle size screw and you secure it that way, as you did before. So finally, we just put the back of the plug, um, secure it with the rather funnel-like funnel sh shaped screw, like so, again as we did before. And now you're ready to plug it in and your canopy and your mat will be fully grounded. So now we're going to demonstrate the efficacy of the bed canopy. It's important to understand why you can't test the efficacy with a mobile phone. What you can measure it with is a quality EMF monitor. This is the FM5. It's, it is a quality one. We manufacture these ourselves, so we know the accuracy and, and efficiency of that. You need it set up in the, um, uh, the traditional, for, the, for our purposes, the traditional antenna. It has two antennas. There's a millimetre wave antenna and a... Uh, uh, a traditional 2G, 3G, 4G antenna, which is what we're set up in. If you haven't got an FM5, you won't have millimetre wave anyway, so don't uh, worry about that. But do use a quality EMF mini monitor. So Esther's going to come and join me now. So Esther's here now with her mobile phone on airplane mode. She's going to switch it off airplane mode. We're just outside the canopy. And you can see that... Uh, and get some stuff going on. Now she's going to make a call. She's going to ring her own office number. And so we've got some pretty heavy stuff occurring. We use the noise to guide us as I enter the canopy. Sorry about the rigmarole of getting in. Now we've got the, you can see the maximum reading of, I think that's 2 million microwatts that we, uh, that we registered when we were outside. You can hear it ringing and I'm going to just clear off so we've got no maximum reading. It's still ringing out there. Do you want to ring it again, Esther? Yes. So I'm just literally, you should be able to see Esther ringing the phone. Oh, sorry. 
ringing her phone, her landline. And you can hear it in the distance. You can hear Esther's phone and you can hear her phone ringing downstairs or wherever it is. And actually nothing's happening. But if I, on the monitor, and if I pop, there it is. Hopefully you can see it. I'm inside the canopy. Bring the monitor back inside the canopy. Clear off that maximum reading. And there you've got peace inside your canopy.